let's keep this intro short, shall we? Yes, please. So I'm going to make a pajama set. I know I made a loungewear set in a different video, but that is getting a little bit worn. So I'm gonna make another one. I'm gonna use this fabric. Fabric I have hoarded for years, and I am a little nervous, a lot nervous to cut into it. I think the longer I hoard fabric, the more special it becomes to me. This fabric was Dollar Yard may sound pretty cheap, which it really is, but I also don't generally like to buy fabric that's more than $3 per yard. So I cannot get any more of this. So that makes me nervous. And I really did want to make a beautiful bias cut gown out of it, but then I realized I don't have anywhere to wear a gorgeous gown. So. I'll have to do that with a different fabric in future when I have somewhere to wear a gorgeous gown. Yeah, gonna make a pajama set. First, I started by pressing the fabric, one of the more tedious steps in sewing, I know, but it does indeed help immensely. For the pattern, I took a pajama set that has seen better days, but I didn't want to deconstruct it because I paid a whopping $5 for it and I'm going to wait until it is in shreds before I give it up. So I just drew around it to get the basic shape and that's me needing a measuring tape to extend the legs, but it was just out of reach. Before you call me lazy, you can call me forgetful. See, I had already gotten up to get my pincushion and then again to get my scissors and then again to get my chalk and I was a little tired of the up and down. So I did without the measuring tape and guesstimated. Just in case you'd like to put some pajama pants together along with me, I'll try to be professional and explain this part like a genuine tutorial. Here's your back piece and here's your front piece. You should have two of each. Lay them on top of one another, front on front, back on back, right sides together, sew along the crotch seams of both. And after you've done that, here is the back, here is the front, here are the crotch seams you've sewn together, and now you have legs and you didn't even have to give your voice to a sea witch for them. Next, I take one of the pieces, doesn't matter which, I have the back here, and then I'm going to lay the fronts on top of it, right sides together, match the crotch seams, and sew all along that inside seam, and also sew along the two outside seams. Now take a piece of elastic and wrap it around where you want the waistband to sit. Pull it tight, but not too tight, but also not too loose. We're looking for the baby bear of elastics, just right. Once you've found the sweet spot, add two inches so you can have a one inch overlap for stability, and then... Take the pants and turn the edge of the waist over just a tiny bit and stitch into place. And then turn it over again with enough space to fit the elastic in, which should be about the width of the elastic plus one quarter inch. Stitch it down and stop just about an inch before you get back to the sewing starting point. This leaves a little hole for the elastic to go through. As you can see, or rather not see, I thought I was doing a great job keeping the threading of the elastic within the frame, but I was not. Except for a moment, like right there. Look, you can see it a little bit. I was trying, but if you'd like to see a tutorial just on threading the elastic through a waistband, let me know. I would be glad to make one. After threading the elastic through, overlap the elastic one inch and secure it with a zigzag stitch. Make sure it disappears into the waistband and close up that hole. Next, it's time for the hem. You can absolutely do a basic hem by simply turning the hem under at the length you like and stitching it into place. By the end of this, I was wishing that I had gone with a simple hem, but I opted for something a bit more involved.
it's coming together. I really think that once the sleeves are on, it's going to start looking like pajamas. On this different, different day, I started by cutting out some sleeves. And now we interrupt our regularly scheduled programming to observe how peaceful a cat looks sleeping in the sunshine. And back to it. Almost finished. I've now reached the point in the project where I have to make the buttonholes. And I don't wanna. No matter how many times I've made buttonholes, I still dread it. But then once I finish it, I always think, oh, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, I didn't end up thinking that this time. So I guess that means I just have to get it over with. Or procrastinate. So I completely forgot that my new sewing machine is very different from my old sewing machine in the buttonhole making process, but I did some practice buttonholes and eventually got it all figured out. I then stitched the buttons on and I was finished at last. Good morning. How oh, did I forget to do a reveal? Oops. But honestly, it's a pajama set. I had to try it out first before I could give an accurate description of how it turned out. Right? Yeah. So I tried it out and I am not ready to give a description or do a reveal, obviously. I just woke up. So I'm gonna have some coffee and then I will show you and tell you. Okay, I'll be back. because my housemates are still sleeping. I am rather pleased with how it turned out. As always, not perfect, it's fine. I did forget the pointless pocket, but I'm okay with that because I really don't think it's necessary. I did not realize how comfortable this would be. It's so soft and silky. I think these are my favorite pajamas of all time. And it's very loose. It might look a little bit big, but I really like loose fitting oversized sleepwear because I do not like to feel constricted when I'm sleeping. So this is how it turned out. I'm pleased with it. It's very comfortable. The sleep test was indeed successful. However, I'm kind of thinking maybe I need to Give it one more go and make sure. Um, we do have to go do chores though. 